Today, I'm benchmarking the best Android tablet and the best Apple tablet that you can buy right now. So this over here is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. It's rocking the Snapdragon 855 processor and six gigabytes of RAM. This over here is the iPad Pro. It's rocking the well-known A12X Bionic chip and four gigabytes of RAM. Now I know a lot of you think that I should be comparing the Tab S6 with the iPad Air, but I disagree. So the Tab S6 starts at a retail price of $650. The iPad Air, $499. The iPad Pro, the 11 inch model at least, starts at $799. But it's been on sale for a while and you can frequently pick it up for right around $650. So same or similar price as the Tab S6. Now I know of course the Tab S6 comes with the S Pen and with the iPad Pro you gotta shell out an additional $129. So take that into consideration. But at the end of the day, I think it's a lot more fun comparing the best from Team Android with the best from Team Apple. And just for good measure, I'm gonna throw in the brand new 2019 Fire 7 tablet from Amazon, just to see what $50 or less is gonna get you these days. Off to the races. The first thing we're testing is Geekbench. So the Fire 7 tablet obviously has a little bit of an older version of Geekbench and the Tab S6 and iPad Pro are up to date. So let's go ahead and see what it shows us. Okay, so we've got our CPU scores. Let's go ahead and run the compute benchmark. Does not compute, does not compute, does not compute. Okay, so the next thing that we want to test is Antutu benchmarks. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got our scores for the iPad Pro and the Tab S6. I think the Fire 7 is dead or malfunctioning or something, so we're going to go ahead and stop that test. And let's see what we've got next. So let's try 3D Mark. All right, so I think 3D Mark Slingshot is loaded up on all the devices. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so something strange happened. The iPad Pro crashed the first time. I closed out the program, started again. Looks like it locked up again, so it's not completing the test. The S6 is done, and the Fire 7 is still chugging along. Oh, and it's done. So the iPad Pro definitely lost this test just by not being able to complete it, even though it was running much smoother at a higher frame rate. Let's throw up some graphs and look at the results. The first test that we ran was Geekbench, and in the CPU test, the Fire 7 tablet got a 644 on the single core and 1824 on the multi-core. The iPad Pro got 1120 on the single core, 4657 on the multi-core. The Tab S6 got 719 on the single core and 2501 on the multi-core. Geekbench on the Fire 7 tablet was a little bit outdated, but it was the newest version available, so there was no compute test available. The compute test on the iPad Pro yielded 9,217 and 2,326 on the Tab S6. Next was Antutu, and this test just didn't run properly on the Fire 7 tablet, so we did not get a score. On the iPad Pro, the total score was 553,324 compared to the Tab S6, which got 360,754. Finally, the last test that we ran was 3D Mark Slingshot. The Fire 7 tablet got 195, kind of laughable. It was going at like one frame per second. The Tab S6 got 7,177, and the iPad Pro could not complete the test. It just kept crashing. I'm not sure why. 
So there you have it. The A12X chip in the iPad Pro really walks away with this one, at least in terms of pure benchmarks and processing speed. I'm gonna have to give it to the Apple fanboys this time. Not to say that the Galaxy Tab S6 is slow, far from it, but then again, it's always fun to compare our size of numbers in benchmarking tests. Anyway, that's it for me. Bite that subscribe button and check back for some new videos on Samsung DeX that I'm gonna be doing next. Thanks for watching.